Hello and welcome to Sandbox Creations. First of all, I would like to thank each and every one who liked the previous videos and subscribed to the channel. If you have any topic that you want to see a video on, please leave your suggestions in the comment box. Quarantine is a word that we have been hearing a lot since the outbreak of the coronavirus. In this video, I am going to explain how this method to fight epidemics came about and which was the first disease stopped in its track by adapting this procedure. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon to enable notifications. Three of the deadliest pandemics in recorded world history were caused by the same bacterium, Yersinia pestis, also known as the plague. The first recorded case of the plague, called the Plague of Justinian lasted from 541 AD to 542 AD, with recurrences until 750 AD. It was a pandemic that afflicted the Byzantine Empire, especially its capital, Constantinople, as well as the Sasanian Empire and port cities around the entire Mediterranean Sea as merchant ships harbored rats that carried fleas infected with plague. Some historians believe the plague of Justinian was one of the deadliest pandemics in history, resulting in the deaths of an estimated 25 to 100 million people during two centuries of recurrence, a death toll equivalent to as much as half of Europe's population at the time of the first outbreak. Modern historians named this plague incident after Justinian I, who was emperor at the time of the initial outbreak. Justinian himself contracted the disease, but survived. The plague never really went away, and when it returned 800 years later, it killed with reckless abandon. The Black Death, which hit Europe in 1347, claimed 200 million lives in just four years. For a very long time people had no idea on how to stop this disease but they knew that it had something to do with proximity to patients. The authorities of the port city of Ragusa, which was under the control of Venice decided to adopt a new policy to tackle this pandemic, to isolate the newly arrived sailors in the city until it was proven without a shadow of doubt that they didn't have plague. Initially, the sailors were confined to their ships for 30 days, which later became known in Venetian law as a Trentino. As time passed, the authorities tacked on 10 more days to the forced isolation increasing the total duration to 40 days or a quarantino. Quarantino is the root of the word quarantine and this was the start of this particular practice to tackle pandemics in fact, it became the first response anytime a pandemic started. Unfortunately, plague was a disease that continued to wreak havoc throughout the world, even with the practice of quarantine being adopted every time it struck. Even though the Black Death ended in 1351, London never really caught a break after it. The plague resurfaced roughly every 20 years from 1348 to 1665 to 40 outbreaks in 300 years. And with each new plague epidemic, 20% of the men, women and children living in the capital of the British Empire were killed. By the early 1500s, England strictly imposed the first laws to separate and isolate the sick. Homes stricken by plague were marked with a bale of hay strung to a pole outside. If you had infected family members, you had to carry a white pole when you went out in public. Cats and dogs were believed to carry the disease, so there was a wholesale massacre of hundreds of thousands of animals. The Great Plague of 1665 was the last and one of the worst of the century's long outbreaks, killing 100,000 Londoners in just seven months. All public entertainment was banned and victims were forcibly shut into their homes to prevent the spread of the disease. Red crosses were painted on their doors along with a plea for forgiveness, Lord have mercy upon us. As cruel as it was to shut up the sick in their homes and burying the dead in mass graves, it may have been the only way to bring the last Great Plague outbreak to an end. Besides the Great Plague of London, there were two more massive outbreaks of the plague. 
The first one was called the Italian Plague, which lasted from 1629 to 1631, which killed one million people in Italy and the last case of widespread death was called the Third Plague, which began in Yunnan, China, in 1855 during the fifth year of the Shengfeng Emperor of the Qing Dynasty. This episode of the plague spread to all inhabited continents, and ultimately led to more than 12 million deaths in India and China, with nearly 10 million deaths in India alone. According to the World Health Organization, the pandemic was considered active until 1960, when worldwide casualties dropped to 200 per year. No other disease has killed more humans than plague, which was beaten into submission by our ancestors who adopted the practice of quarantining, which has become relevant once again as we continue to fight the spread of the coronavirus. Quarantine was a brand new concept during the Black Death and many people who refused to adapt the said measure perished, the current scenario is almost a mirror image of that particular time period. So, please stay inside and stay safe. Thank you. If you liked this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon to enable notifications.